Hey y'all, good, good afternoon, amen. And I guess as you can already tell, I'm outside and the wind is blowing, but praise the Lord, the sun is shining and it feels so good, amen. I wanted to share something with y'all. Um, this is in Mark chapter three. I really felt like it was time to post another video on here and I pray that these videos will just speak to you and be a blessing to you and for those of you that may be new to this channel we are first step ministry othell johnson my husband and myself and we love the lord and we love you and we want to be a blessing to people and any way we can bless somebody then amen that's what we're all about amen let's take a look here in mark chapter 3 and he entered again into the synagogue, and there was a man there which had a withered hand. And they watched him, whether he would heal him on the Sabbath day, that they might accuse him. Boy, don't that sound familiar. And he saith unto the man which had the withered hand, Stand forth. Stand forth. And he said unto them, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath days? or to do evil, to save life, or to kill. But they held their peace. Of course, they didn't say nothing, because what could they say? Amen. And when he had looked around about on them with anger, being grieved for the hardness of their hearts, he saith unto the man, Stretch forth thine hand. Jesus told this man that had the withered hand, stretch forth your hand in other words show me show me stretch the word forth means to come forward stretch means you've you've got to put forth some effort i guess you could put it that way you know stretch forth put forth that effort put that faith out there and let me see it amen Stretch forth thine hand, and he stretched it out, and his hand was restored whole as the other. In other words, his hand became well. Wow. Amen. And the Pharisees went forth and straightway took counsel with the Herodians against him how they might destroy him. See, they were trying to destroy Jesus for the good works the miracles, the healings that he done. Jesus went against the grain. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit right now. Jesus went against the grain. How many of God's people, how many Christians are going against the grain? How many of us are willing to step up and when we see somebody that that is fighting a sickness or or some kind of ailment or whatever it may be how many christians are willing to go against the grain and say stretch forth come forth show me what you need let's believe in the lord let's believe in the lord for his miracles let's believe the lord jesus for all the healings amen amen and god already knows what we have need of even before we ask but see the point here is that Jesus said, stretch forth. Stretch forth thy hand. Jesus already knew that his hand was withered. Jesus already knew. And Jesus already knew that because he would obey and do the will of his Father, Jesus already, already knew that he would face adversity. How many Christians, how many of us today are facing adversity? Because we, we do tell people the truth. And we are going about doing good. Trying to get people, you know, to surrender to the Lord. And, you know, praying for people. And, and speaking life over people. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, stretch forth thy hand. And as soon as the man stretched forth his hand... That withered hand became well. It became whole. It was just like the other one. Like nothing had ever happened to it. Amen. 
But see, sometimes, church, we got to put forth a little bit of effort. You know, it's easy to say that we have faith, but God, but God wanted this man here to prove that he had the faith. Amen. This man had to do something. Stretch forth. Stretch forth. Sometimes we have to do something. We have to stretch forth. And we have to show God, hey, look, God, this is what I'm going through. This is what I need. Even though God already knows, he wants us to have enough faith in him to step up and say, okay, you said you can do this. Now I need you to do it for me. Sometimes we got to stretch forth. Whether it's a withered hand or maybe maybe you're facing uh, some financial issues financial difficulties or maybe it's a loved one that is sick and they just need God to touch them whatever that withered hand may be you know just stretch it forth and watch God work for you watch God work for you sometimes we have to put our faith into action amen Sometimes we have to put our faith into action. Amen. But I just wanted to share that with y'all. And if you are new to our channel, First Step Ministry, we love you. We love the Lord. And we love trying to be a blessing to other people. We, we try to be obedient. We always want God to shine through us. And we always want God to speak through us. Amen. But if you are blessed by this channel, if you would like and subscribe, and make sure you hit that little notification bell. That way, if you do get blessed by this channel, then if you click that notification button, then you will be notified of new videos. If you would like and subscribe and share this channel with others, let's get the word of the Lord out there. Amen. Amen. But be encouraged. Amen. But stretch forth. Let your faith arise. Stretch forth that withered hand, whether it is a prayer for a loved one, prayer for yourself, your finances, then go to God with it. And let him help you. Jesus will help you. But we appreciate y'all and hope you.